It's fair to say the UK has had a pretty torrid time at Eurovision Song Contest over the past few years, but at least we have Graham Norton's commentary during the live final to look forward to. The 59-year-old is one of the country's most beloved TV presenters, and has interviewed some of the biggest names from film, TV and music on his chat show. With the Eurovision final just hours away now, here's a look at the presenter's life, from his romantic history to his shock exit from BBC Radio 2. Net worth and career so far Graham is a national treasure and was one of the highest paid presenters at the BBC when he hosted his show on Radio 2 alongside the Graham Norton show. The Daily Star reports that he was taking home an eye-watering salary of £725,000 a year at one point. He sold his production company So Television to ITV in 2012 for around £17 million but the company still lists him as creditor, and he is paid presenter fees, production fees and royalties. Wealth website Celebrity Net Worth has therefore estimated his net worth to be around £30 million. Graham got his first break as a regular comedian on the BBC Radio 4 show Loose Ends in the 1990s before he went on to win an award for being a stand-in host on a Channel 5 late-night talk show hosted by Jack Doherty. He then fronted a number of chat shows on Channel 4 before landing the Graham Norton show on BBC Two in 2007, which soon became one of the most popular chat shows in the channel's history. Love Life Although Graham is officially single, a source told The Mirror in 2018 that he had been dating a member of the Graham Norton show's crew. However, if that is still the case, he has kept his relationship very private and has not made any reference to his partner on social media. There may be a reason why Gran keeps his relationships private, as Hello Magazine reports that he has candidly spoken about how the pressures of fame have contributed to breakups in the past. Gran dated Trevor Patterson for two years before they broke up in 2013. He then went out with music marketing consultant Andrew Smith, who he split from in 2015. He has previously said that he doesn't mind being single however, explaining, you have your own rules as you get older. I would prefer to live alone for the rest of my life rather than live with towels that were folded incorrectly. Petty is important. That's why marriages break up. Marriages don't break up because of big things. Why he quit BBC job towards the end of 2020, Graham announced he had decided to leave BBC Radio 2 after 10 years at the station, with his last program being on December 19. Breaking the news to fans at the time, he said, Obviously I'm sad to be stepping away from my Radio 2 show. I'll miss being a part of the Wogan House family, as well as the listeners and their lives. I'd like to thank my producer Malcolm Prince and all the teams I've worked with for a great decade of radio. Happily with the chat show, Eurovision and Drag Race the BBC continues to be my perfect TV home, he added. He later admitted it was a relief to be off the BBC's top earners list after the exit but went on to say it wasn't the biggest factor for him wanting to leave. He said, the only thing that was part of the decision was, oh, if I stopped doing this, it'll get off that list. I won't be on that list anymore. The high earners list, which I didn't like being on, hey, now I'm not. So to that extent it made me go but that was sort of a bonus of leaving, it wasn't the biggest driving force. 